Internet stalkers. You hate them, I hate them, everybody hates them. In fact, nobody loves these people. Now the Bible says um, bad company corrupts good character. And that's true, if you uh, keep the wrong company, they will corrupt you eventually. And the same applies with people that come and force their company upon you. Eventually you will snap and you will do something to them. Um, there's a lot of people who have actually been beaten up for stalking, but um, a lot of these reports seem to have disappeared from the internet for some strange reason. I don't know why. But anyway, um, what it says here is that cyber stalking, six types of new age internet stalker. New age. New age? Isn't that paganism and Freemasonry? Six types? Six? Why six? Okay, anyway, let's look at this because this is being identified by psychologists, it says here. So let's look at this. Uh, type one, the delusional stalker. Um, these internet stalkers have a history of mental illnesses, usually untreated, such as schizophrenia, manic depression, or borderline personality disorder, but are not limited to a single psychological illness. So they're plenty mad, in other words. Delusional stalkers are often in denial of their mental illnesses, which can manifest for a variety of reasons, and even profess to others they do not have any type of mental illness. This is done as a method of attention seeking, so to appear normal to society, their stalking and harassment are evidently reflective of their pre-existing mental disorders. For example, the delusional stalker may uh, freely talk about hearing voices, have abnormal beliefs uh, of concrete facts, uh, form love-to-hate relationships with friends, fail to understand the needs of others, or profess their normalcy when a mental illness is mentioned. That's type one. Type two, um, the, uh, the, the intimate stalker. These internet stalkers are the most common of the six defined types. The intimate stalker cannot accept that his, her relationship has ended and begin to stalk the partner through the internet. The victim usually has no knowledge they're being stalked, and when they do, the, stalk, uh, when they do, the stalking has intensified. The intimate stalker believes that the stalking attempts profess love, uh, bullying threats or public shame will harm the partner or win back the affection of that partner. These stalkers do not think rationally but have a wounded heart and are most commonly female. But males can also be uh, intimate stalkers as well. Intimate internet stalkers resort to upping their harassment tactics when their victims communicate with other people such as friends, new love interests or those of the same sexual orientation. In most cases, these individuals are also harassed, threatened, shamed and mourned to keep away by the stalker. Type 3. The Vengeful Stalker. The most dangerous and destructive types of internet stalker are, are known to mental health professionals as the vengeful stalker. These internet stalkers should be considered dangerous as they are more apt to take their online obsessions to real world form. The vengeful stalker um, are not limited to obsessive stalking techniques, profane bullying or sexually explicit harassment. Operating with the motive to cause misery to the victim, this type of stalker may act to publicly shame or create falsifications to assassinate the character of the victim. These actions may also pin the victim um, against uh, friends and family. Vengeful stalkers take it upon themselves to gain personal information at no cost, living in unclean conditions, failing to function in real life, uh, of living on quick fix foods. During this time, the stalker may stay up for days disregard their responsibilities, ignore others, disregard household duties and stop bathing. Personal information is priceless to this type of internet stalker. Acting with revenge, they may befriend the victim's friends and family members to gain intimate details of the victim or breach computer security to gain internet uh, provided IP address uh, depending on the skill. A single IP address may reveal the exact location and real name of the victim leading to a real-life obsession to be formed. This type is most commonly linked to crimes beyond stalking, which involve kidnapping, assaults, sexually motivated crimes against children, and even murder. Oh dear! Nutters everywhere. Uh, type 4, the uh, erotomanic stalker. These uh, internet stalkers form non-existent relationships with their victim. Uh, erotomanic stalkers who uh, may have problems sexually form relationships in their head at, uh, at any display of attention, both positive and negative. These stalkers believe their actions of abuse will lead to the victim falling in love with them and that any attention from the victim is a display of that love interest. The erotomanic stalker's goal is to be loved, sexually fulfilled or given attention. They may resort to violence to get their wants, desires and needs met. These stalkers are very demanding of the victim, egotistical and self-centered. 
Any communication to the victim from friends, lovers, spouses, family, members or strangers is perceived as a threat to the self-created fictional relationship, usually causing a rapid increase in the stalking abuse. Type 5. Uh, the trolling stalker. These internet stalkers often post obsessively violent statements to their victims. Their comments may also be controversial, irrelevant, inflammatory and off-topic. Not to be confused with the supernatural munchkin, uh, trollings. trolling stalkers are very abusive in their attempts to gain more credibility than, they, than that deserved. These internet stalkers uh, derive their self-pleasures by causing harm electronically to their victims and usually act without the victim's knowledge. Trolling stalkers wish death on their victims, steal content, mimic behaviours, copy actions and threaten with little to no self-control. The exploits of such behaviour uh, is to up the credibility of the stalker so that the stalker can point the finger of blame at the victim. And finally, uh, type 6, the predatory stalker. These internet stalkers are classic sexual predators. The predatory stalkers are motivated by the desire for sexual gratification and power over the victim. Usually sexually deviant, this type of stalker may also have poor social skills and lowered intelligence. The most commonly keep to themselves as sociopathic individuals and come from a troubled existence with past hardships. This type of stalker should be considered very dangerous. Victims and observers are encouraged to contact local uh, law enforcement uh, to, in protection of themselves and others. Sexual predators prey on those who appear to be weaker, usually fem females and children, and may engage in behaviours such as surveillance, monitoring internet activity, obscene phone calls, fetishism, voyeurism, sex, uh, sexual masochism, sexual sadism, and or exhibition, exhibitionism. Victims to this type of internet stalker can be a known individual or complete stranger. And then it goes on a little bit more. So basically, what we've got here is a bunch of nutters um, who are mentally ill, uh, deranged, uh, and need help. And some of them actually need locking up because they are in fact a danger to the public. So, I mean, what I've done with uh, a couple of stalkers who went a little bit too far is I got their details and I handed them over to the police and um, also to friends and relatives. And I suggest that basically that's the, the only thing that you can really do. Um, some of them uh, that I've dealt with over the past three years, particularly one, I would put in the very dangerous category. Um, and I have made a point of, uh, uh, of reporting this person several times just to make absolutely sure um, that there's no mistake with the police of this nutter. So if you have any of those problems, um, that's what I suggest that you do as well. Um, go along and uh, make a statement to the police, insist that you make a statement, and make sure that that individual is put on record as a potential danger uh, to your personal safety. Because as you can see by this information, they are stark staring mad.